And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Abzan control in standard. I guess we get rid of that as you tell we just added in some crowded canariums. But yeah, we're, that's what we got going on here. We got Abzan control in standard. So this is a donation deck from a viewer that one, wants us to try this out. Uh, they're, the reason why, like, their big thing about playing this deck is one of their favorite cards is Ethereal Absolution. And so they wanted to put together a 4x Ethereal Absolution control deck. And that's what we got going on here. So the Bond of Flourishings, you know, we're playing 25 land. The Bond of Flourishings help us hit land drops, but then also help us find Ethereal Absolution by allowing us to just reveal a uh, permanent card, take any permanent. Um, <clears throat> but then, of course, we we have a whole lot of removal, you know, like Murderous Rider, Trophy, Mortify, Golgari Queen, Kaya's Wrath, Oath of Kaya, tons and tons of removal. Plus this really cool removal spell with Death Sprout. So it costs four. Destroy a creature, then, but you get to also then Rampant Growth. Go put a basic land into play tapped. So if we do this with four mana, then the next turn, if we play our fifth land, this got us the extra land, we can uh, go right into Ethereal Absolution there. Uh, our main ways to win, of course, <clears throat> after Ethereal Absolution you know, can make some, some one ones a little bit, but our main ways to win are Liliana making tokens and Dawn of Hope making tokens. Hopefully both those those tokens are going to be bigger. I mean, I guess also Garrick <clears throat> making tokens as well. All those tokens are going to be bigger because of Ethereal Absolution, saying our creatures get plus one, plus one. Um, and, of course, our opponent's creatures get minus one, minus one. So, you know, like with having Ethereal Absolution or two in play, Dawn of Hope starts making very large lifelink creatures. Um yeah, we only have two Death Sprouts, so yeah, I think I think four basic lands is enough for, for Death Sprouts. Um, it'll be pretty unlucky if we draw the four basics before we play our second Death Sprout. Um, it, it can definitely happen, but um, it's still a removal spell at that point. You know, it's just going to be a four mana destroy a creature. So it's, yeah, it's fine. Um, but then, of course, we also have the spicy one of. We got an Underrealm Lich in here. Helps us really dig towards Ethereal Absolution, or if we need like that, that sixth land drop, it'll get us there, um, and everything. Just just a cool spicy one of that zombie elf shaman. That's just a cool card. Um, we also you know use use uh, Castle Ardenville really well with having all these Ethereal Absolutions. Another way to to generate tokens. Um, so yeah, and of course there's a whole lot of. Uh, Cat decks running around, Cauldron Familiar decks, and hopefully all these Ethereal Absolutions are pretty good there. I also like just how we're playing four Mortifies. That's pretty sweet with Fires of Invention and um, <clears throat> Wilderness Reclamation and uh, Trail of Crumbs, those three enchantments, all being very big. So yes, yeah, so that's our deck. So like we always do with donation decks, we're going to go ahead and play a league here. So we're just going to play a traditional standard league. And we're going to play until we win five or lose two, whichever happens first. And let's see how it goes. Can you do... Yes. Well, I mean... Yeah, like, the... You can play ranked historic right now. If you play best two out of three, it's ranked. And so... It counts your... You know, your daily rewards get counted there. Um, but as far as just going to the normal play queue and playing Historic and playing Historic Best of One in the play queue, I don't know if that counts towards your dailies or not. I just don't know. Um, sure, we're going to kind of need this to be a decent removal spells. Yeah, if only Desperate could get any land. Yeah, that would be nice. Or could get castles. Any land that doesn't Tap for two mana. I don't know how you'd even word that. So I don't think I'm going to pay two life to trophy a Scourge Spitter. Ah, uh, you lost Underrealm while playing Mill. Yep. Yeah, Underrealm Lich does not die to... Like, yeah, you, you don't die to Mill decks. When you got that card out. Hey, these 
guys are great. Well, if we if we can just survive to ethereal absolution. I probably should have, like, after their draw step, trophied the Chandra, but oh well. It was two damage either way. Ow. Oh, that was not a good sign. Yeah, not a good sign at all. Hawkeye, what you doing? Did you leave some food in your paw? Now you're eating dinner. Stored it up. All right, so some bell haunts. Hmm. Do I want duress? Yeah, so we'll have all these Othakayas and bell haunts. Hopefully, those help us out. Um, even Bond of Flourishing says uh, gain life. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think Hawkeye actually did that. Um I don't really like trophy. Maybe I just have to play him though. Yeah, I guess I just have to play him. I mean obviously I need to cut like fours, fives, and sixes. Especially with bringing in bell haunts. I'm just going to cut Absolution. I think I want to keep these things. I kind of want to play like one Absolution because I don't really want to draw a second, but I wouldn't mind drawing the first. We'll play one. Yeah, I guess Dawn of Hope's only going to be helping if we've already, like, stabilized and going to be winning. So, yeah, I probably should have just cut the Dawn of Hope's. Ugh. Land. Yeah, the first absolution is, is good. But the second one, not as much. Yeah, did I definitely had a good vacation. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that from cats a lot with the water. Yeah, putting your paw in the water and lick it off. I mean, he... Hawkeye will do that some with the food. Just like because he tries to scoop it up. He does that some. And that's what he's doing right now, actually. Man, triple fervent champion. That's pretty rough. Alright, hoping to draw a black source. Nope. I mean, this is just game. Uh, the old mold of five can't play any spells. Good old magic. It happens. I mean, even with the Bond of Flourishing, we could have found a black source, but we didn't. Yeah, we could have played Bond on turn three. Um, 
Very true. I know, right? Definitely miss check lands. Makes it harder to play. These three color decks without them. Ugh. It's just there's just not enough lands. All right, lands. And we got enough black. It's good. Um. I think I'm just going to put back the Temple of Silence, honestly. I like having the Godless Shrine to let the castle come into play tapped, or untapped, sorry, later. Obviously, I want to keep my one green source. It's it's one of these two that I'm putting back. Obviously, the Temple will let me scry, though, because I'm, I'm playing them in tapped, so it's just like, so you might as well get to scry one. So it's basically either scry one or this comes into play tapped, and I'd rather... Uh, I'd rather this untapped than scry one, I think. Yeah, I like the Bond of Flourishings. I think that's a that's a good card to be playing in um, in this deck. If I put back the, why not put back the planes? Because then I'm probably gonna have to shock with one of these if I put back the planes. Because I just don't really want shock. I don't, I don't know if I really want to shock. So if I put back planes, then we're gonna like temple and then you know goblet shrine, temple, castle. We only have one land comes into play untapped without taking damage. But if I put back the this, then we would have goblet shrine untapped, then temple untapped, and then turn three we have untapped land, turn four we have untapped land. It's true. That is true. The planes can be fetched with Temple or with a uh, Death Sprout. Hmm. All right, we'll give it a try. We'll have to lose. This is going to cost us two life, but I guess we get to scry one. Sure, that card's good. And it, so it may not cost us two life now that I'm keeping that land. Ethereal Absolution, where are you? So of course, playing the Godless Shrine before the Temple, so that we can have, <clears throat> so we can play Castle and and have turn three one of these, and then turn four we'll play the Temple and tapped and have the other one. Wow, what a start again! Last time it was Fervent Champion into Double Fervent Champion. This time Gutter Bones into Pump It plus. Drill bit. Drill bit's real good. Hey, what's up, boot? Doing great. How's everything going there? After sitting around eating a whole bunch of food, I can uh, certainly tell I'm not quite in streaming shape again I'm getting pretty tired even though I've only streamed for four hours and, you know like four hours 20 minutes or so No, I, I don't think this is a. This is not a Cauldron Familiar deck. No, this, this is like Rakdos Knight Aggro.
All right, good. Don't have to worry about Ember Cleave. We can just slowly take down this Oathsworn Knight without having to use a card. Just a whole lot of mana. Yeah. Um. Hmm. All the six drops and five lands. Um. So I would prefer them to just have to two creatures in play. I'm gonna play Liliana. I do hope you make All right, that worked out. Exciting. I do love a good death whale. The reason why I did the Mortify before combat, instead of like seeing if they played like a Rimrock Knight like that, um, was because of Ember Cleave. Basically made it more expensive to be casting Ember Cleave. and shine. I really hope they don't draw Ember Cleave. Yeah, that's that's how we lose is Ember Cleave. Sit over here and not in front of not in front of the screen so I can't see. Okay, got that one. Bellhut doesn't doesn't block the three drops it doesn't block the uh, the two two menace creature either it doesn't really block their one drop um the knight of the oven legion so it doesn't do a very good job blocking all their creatures are too big All right, gonna take out the Dawn of Hopes this time. I 
Would I rather play, with that being said, would I rather play Bell Hunt over Ethereal Absolution? Probably not. I'll just keep in the Ethereal Absolutions. They seem pretty good for this matchup. Them having all creatures. All right, Storm, have a good night. All right, so Bond hit a, get a land, then Othakaya, then Desprout Ramp, and then Liliana. Oh, I want to take this card. All right, I'm taking it. Figure, yeah, with this Stormfist Crusader helping us out, we could probably hit another land drop. Because we only really need one more land with Desperate grabbing a basic. Boo. Oh, they grabbed the trophy? That card's not even good. They grabbed the trophy. Dead. So this doesn't help us play the Absolution the next turn. Yeah, it's a good call. They probably have Embercleave. Well, that's a big dino. Well, now if they have Embercleave, they're just going to be discarding Embercleave. So I hope they have Ember Cleave in hand. No, it has Flash. Oh, but they can't play it for cheaper. Hmm. Ha! They did have Ember Cleave. They just went and discarded it. Uh... That's what they get. She still got a chance. Do we have more white or more black? We have more black. So close. It's time to I won't forgive this. If we're only on the play. So my only hope right now is that they attack Vraska also. Yeah, I mean, that we just changed that to have a second forest in here right before that. Before this, that second forest was a um, was an under underrealm lich. And if, if that forest was an underrealm lich, we would have definitely lost. Like, Darn, they didn't attack the Vraska. 
Hey, get get your butt off the screen. What are you doing? Showing everybody your butt. Well, Bell Hunt is better than Under Elm Lich in this form in this uh, match. So I guess that's just an upgrade. Draw land. We got good cards. Just need to draw land. Got good cards, need to draw land. How do they always have triple one drops? Get out of here, triple one drop. You kidding me? What's the deal with that? <laughs> hey, Butters, I am back. Yes, you can cast creatures uh, instant speed with Leyline of Anticipation. Yep. Ugh. Well, that was a timely Cry of the Carnarium before all these discard spells. I, hey, I mean that that basic forest won us this won us this game, or at least you know, allowed us to stay in it. We were dead without that basic forest. So if I didn't cast Cry of the Carnarium there, we would have never cast it. Yeah, you can flash in Planeswalkers with Leyline of Anticipation. Of course, you can't activate them on your opponent's turn. But yeah, you can flash them in. Yeah, if you want to just like play one instant speed at their end step and then you untap and then Kaya's Wrath and you know you get to activate it and make sure the board's clear, you can do that. Smelly, but effective. Hey. Hey, Balding Eddie. Yep, I'm back. Yeah, Abzan Le Legends. That was a lot of fun earlier today. Back at it, playing a bunch of Historic today besides this donation deck here. <laughs> of course it wants to tap the my one white source. Rip. 
Really good quality Bond of Flourishing there. Four hearts! Thank you so much for that resub. Hmm. I want to be activating these castles, but we just have too many cards in hand. Yeah, I guess I guess it's just whenever whenever you whenever anybody subs or cheers or does anything like that, um random viewers get get uh emotes. Like they unlock lock new emotes they get to use just in general. I think it's like a, a holiday special thing. Run or hide. We might have seen like Warhearts sub their you know shared rewards to others in chat. Yeah, so there's some people they're showing some of their free emotes they got. More wolves. For the hunt. If I do activate Castle, I'd need to do it during my turn, not during my opponent's turn, because if I activate it during their turn, then they get to pick up the Gutter Bones. Yeah, it was it was definitely the Cry of the Carnarium that won us that game. Like, we didn't even have t time for a Kaya's Wrath. They would have definitely taken Kaya's Wraths out of our hand. We needed... We need to turn three Cry the Carnarium on the play, otherwise we were losing that. So leading off with Overgrown Tomb will allow me to play Castle and then into Bond of Flourishing. Now it doesn't it doesn't let me play the temple yet, but I guess Yeah, I think like waiting on the temple you know like the the turn one scry when you don't know what you're playing against. You know, like maybe we really need that that uh removal spell. Maybe we don't. It's turn one scry on the play is kind of tough making decisions. When you're in a such a reactive deck. And so it is really nice to be able to hold on to the scries if you can. So I'm I'm planning on playing turn four, turn five temples, so I can have turn six on tap land for these things. Um, but I before that I'm just getting a white source in play, so if we draw black white cards, we could play that. 
Now you're making me sneeze, okay? Are you getting me sick, okay? Thanks, in Christ. Good to be back. Yep, looks like is it flash? Um Which obviously is not going to be good for us. It's going to be difficult for us to deal with counter spells. All of our cards cost a whole lot of mana and, and our sorcery speed. It's like our opponent's dream matchup here. Hey, Tizzy. Ow. Hmm. Cool. Got rid of a brazen borrower. Looks like my opponent probably has more removal. And that's why they were all like, whoopsie daisy. And I was like, I know, right? Could have countered that. And then they were like, my bad. Hmm. Shock. Ugh. 
My death never hurt anyone. They got eight cards over there. If you count the borrower. At least that's two damage that we're not getting that we're not getting shocked. This is not good. Hey, what's up, Narinen? Happy December. This is not good. I guess I only have Sa uh, Sange Lamb with Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Sange. Basically, just what, what do we want to try to play around? Counter spells or burn spells at that point? Um, Got to play cheaper, cheaper instant speed stuff. This is just going to be really tough. Really have a good plan. Not particularly. All right, let's give this another try. Hey, Tecro. Black mana. Good. So you can go temple, into castle, and start drawing, start dropping some bell haunts.
I guess with playing the basic forest, though, it's going to slow me down a tad bit with as far as playing Bell Haunts is concerned. I have to have off. Card that grows the cutthroat but still lets them counter stuff. Definitely the best card they could have. I don't mind the basic forest though. It's been yeah, it's we've had it all the time, but that's okay. They're not hitting land drops. They play stuff, we get to kill their cutthroat. an easy block. Hmm. Yep, I got the new computer yesterday. Um, you know, ordered, ordered all the parts from different places online, and so it'll be, it's being shipped now, of course, and Come the next few days, and you know, got it for Cyber Monday. Got a couple hundred dollars off because of Cyber Monday, and hopefully it's here later on. All all of it's here later on in the week, and put it together. Pretty excited about it. Hmm. It's still kind of my plan is making my opponent waste a lot of mana while I don't waste mana. Because they can't tap out. If they do, then we kill their things. But they kind of have to because we're out racing them. Yeah, we went with the Ryzen, yeah.
<clears throat> Alright, so I wouldn't mind this getting countered. Then they don't get another basic. Yeah, they're gonna have to. They kind of have to play this. This brazen borrower. They do. They don't have the blue for anything else. Then we just kill both their creatures. Okay. Come on, computer, we're just talking about... I guess my computer's mad at me because we're just talking about how I'm getting an upgrade and getting a new one. And so now the computer's all mad at me. You don't gotta be like that, computer. Okay. Um. Just gonna take out the six drops and play a couple more of the Kayas. We're just never gonna play these six drops. Dude, that'd be awesome. When's the upgrade? Just whenever. You know, hopefully later on in the week all the parts come in and then I'll put it together. So hopefully this weekend. Just kinda see whenever they come in. Okay, thanks, Adirio. Oh, thank you for reminding me, too. I have... Um... Welsh Dragon gave me some codes... Whenever we started the stream here, Welsh Dragon gave me some codes to give away. I don't think Twitch does 4K. I think you can do 4K on YouTube. But I don't think Twitch does 4K. Yeah, the basic force is always there. Alright, so... As far as I know, these, these codes work for a booster pack. But of course, obviously, I don't have any way to test them or anything like that. So... No guarantee. Um, so here we go. Let's do a giveaway. Um, And so to enter the giveaway, so th this giveaway is going to be for a code for one booster on Arena. I have three of them, so we're going to pick out three winners. Each winner gets one code. Uh, gets a 
a code for a booster on Arena. And um, all you have to do to enter is type the word historic into the chat right now. Because that's what we're doing today is playing a lot of historic. I mean, right now we're currently playing standard, but historic's been fun. So just type historic into the chat, and you will be entered, and we'll pick out a winner here in a little bit. We'll pick out the three winners, that is. Courtesy of Welsh Dragon. The only way to get Dawn of Hope down would be going Dawn of Hope plus trophy if we want to use removal. Oh, Gadwick. I don't like using trophy this early. Thank you so much there, Frantico. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's pay two, draw a new card. I'm gonna try to kill this cutthroat on their turn. With this mortify. All right, so it looks like everybody's everybody's in the giveaway. All right, so let's pick out our three winners. Legitimate T. Legitimate T, are you here for a booster pack on Arena? There's gonna be two more winners. Also, but of course, legitimacy has to be here. It has to say something to chat. Yeah, there, there we go. All right, gonna send you a whisper with a code. I hope it works. All right, next winner, Anatran. Anatran is up. You'll re-give it. Okay, oh, if yours doesn't work, okay. All right, so I'll send you, I'm gonna send you a whisper. With a code. Oh, and Antron, you won. You won last time too, didn't you? All right, and our third winner. My opponent's probably like, "Why are they playing so slow?" And I'm like, "Cause I'm about to die." Um, it didn't work. Why? Why doesn't it work for you? Do you think it would work for somebody else? And Weston NC.
Cool, legitimates one Le legitimates worked. Awesome. Oh, people can only re redeem redeem certain boosters in a in a season once. Gotcha. So, sh okay, so I should try somebody else. For that code. Antron, did you, did you? Oh, yours worked? Okay. All right, perfect. All right, they all worked. All right, well, good aggressive hand for our opponent. We couldn't quite stabilize. But yeah, they, that Gadwick was definitely good for him. But um, yeah, you know, they just had their two drop and then bone, into Bone Crusher, into Bone Crusher, into Gadwick, draw two, um, into the Flash Flyer, and we just couldn't quite stabilize. Being on the on the draw there. Okay. All right, so that's Abzan Control. Uh, didn't really get to do a whole lot with Ethereal Absolution. I do have to say I liked, I basically liked Bond of Flourishing. Um, you know, and then just the normal black white removal spells. Mortify was awesome. Hey, there we go. Thank you so much, Drug Wizard. Some consolation emotes for chat. <laughs> um, yeah, like yeah, I like the idea here, Yud. Um, for sure. Uh, we had a lot of good stuff going on, um, but that that last matchup was certainly going to be a real tough matchup for us. And then, and you know, like the the first match against Red, we. We drew really bad, um, and that's gonna that's gonna happen. I just don't really like Assassin's Trophy too much as a card. I kind of wish the Assassin's Trophies were other things. I think Assassin's Trophy is better in a in a quick deck where you can try to end the game faster. But how we don't end the game fast at all, giving your opponent a basic land, so an extra mana that they're using over ten turns, is just so much extra mana. And of course, it gets the extra card out of their deck. So I really just don't like Assassin's Trophy in this kind of deck. And so I don't like that we don't have, you know, that's not a card that I want to be playing on turn two. Hey, Legitimate T with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Legitimate T. Um, so I, I don't love that. Um, I don't like that we don't really have a turn two removal spell that we want to be playing on turn two. Playing Assassin's Trophy on turn two is is really pretty poor. So like I think that's that's the one thing is uh, get some interaction to play on turn two. Could be I guess the best is probably Legion's End. You know I think that's that's something that we could be missing. Um, green isn't nearly as big anymore in standard as we saw the, the, after the bannings. So maybe just getting rid of Noxious Grasp. So like Noxious Grasp and Trophy are like my two least favorite cards in here. We get a couple of Legions and um, I don't know something else to do there. Dispark's another good one. Of course, not really for that last matchup, but just kind of in general, like a sideboard card. Dispark's a good sideboard card. They can take out those Ember Cleaves. Um, glass casket's not bad. Um, yeah, that that could be a card you could play. That one's not bad. Yeah, disfigure is not bad either. Um, disfigure can kind of help pair pair with your theory absolutions in the late game too. Yeah, disfigure would be good because just one mana helps you 
helps you just kind of like set up your turns by playing all these tap lands in and you just have like your one mana on turn two to disfigure something while you're just continue playing tap lands that could be pretty valuable but of course we you got to make sure you have enough removal for planeswalkers um, and larger creatures and stuff like that too but there we go that's that's abs and control all right fun deck here thank thank you so much there yud and of course thanks legitimate t for that twitch prime sub those of y'all on youtube uh please hit that like button over there and of course leave comments i'd appreciate both of those uh but thank you so much for watching some abs and control and i'll see you for the next video